We're we're at a cost that are associated with bot canning, bottling. You know, if 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 Sean decided I want to go out and start a brewing company, what what cost am I? The outside of staff, obviously, you have. Right. A, uh, you know, what what am I, off the top of my head? I'm storage. I'm thinking packaging. I'm thinking, yeah. What, what, what does the cost look like? So first of all, you would be bringing in pallets and pallets and pallets of empty silver cans, 12 ounce cans. That's, that's what we use. Mm -hmm. um, but there are 16 ounce cans available now, but I do traditional 12 ounce cans. So you're looking pallets of these. I will tell you right now, there is a shortage of 12 ounce cans um, in the country because of all the, the popular seltzer waters that are out yep. in there thin skinnies so there is a there is an aluminum 12 ounce cancer but with that said we're looking you know buying a pallet you're you know you might be in five to eight cents you know a can but again the more you purchase the bulk and quantity um the the, the less you know your cost is going to be but you would be bringing in pallets of cans that could potentially go for five to eight cents um now not that expensive are, are, are these cans already labeled no we or have that additional cost that is additional so we have an additional so you've got your cans so let me walk you through this so if anybody's out there and they're interested in the the packaging side of of, of brewing or beer the cans you get the uh some come come pre-labeled but i'm going to walk you through you just have a good old-fashioned silver aluminum can in your hand mm -hmm. can label machine goes through the the beer comes out of the tank it goes through the filtration system and through the bright tank and the can goes through and it puts a label on it and then we have a pack tech which goes on for the six packs and then it goes into the palette and then it's uh taken off to distribution but so I, I will tell you, it's it's the cost. There are costs that incurs every step. There's a cost that incurs can, label, pack tech, right down to the the you know when you go into the store and you grab a, a twelve pack, yeah, down to the boxes. So there is there's cost all across uh, that that board. But it's not um, not that that expensive i don't want to i don't want to scare any no, entrepreneurs it's, it's, it's not about expensive or not it, it really is yeah, not it's, I'm trying to, the to process educate, yeah i'm trying to educate our audience what should they be expecting uh in terms of storage where are you housing these cases these pallets at so they go straight to distro they go straight to they go straight as soon as i can i you send out an email and the beer is picked up immediately, or if not, the next day, that between 24 hours and it, it's taken to my distribution company and then it's distributed throughout my accounts. So and you're literally, you're literally not sitting on product. It's, it's, as soon as this thing comes off the assembly line, you're getting it right out to, to the stores. It has to because of demand. And I will tell you, we're gearing up for the summer right now. This is we they call our beer the summer crusher. So our th th this product cannot sit in you know the, the brewery. It's got to go straight to distro because people are <laughs> trying to find their rhythm and it's got to get out to those stores. So no, there's you know very once you know every once in a while it will be in storage. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's you know that that's never over forty eight hours. You know, we wait okay. for distro to pick it up. The storage is not a major cost for you in particular because it is literally kind of just moving from from being yes. bottled and out to the stores. Distro out to the stores. How many doors are you in? We went from selling a hundred cases of beer in one week in 2018, four accounts, to now 480 accounts here in Connecticut. God bless you. Year, bless you. Thank you. And, and I and I say that to and I give you those numbers, the hundred cases and four stores to four hundred and eighty. That is that is all about getting out there on your journey. 
and, and again, opening the doors and letting people know that you're out there and that this is the, this is the brand that everyone should be supporting. So 480 locations right now here in Connecticut. Yeah, give me an idea. I heard you mention uh, Whole Foods. Where are you at? Are you, you know, what type of doors are you in? Is it the Costco, Sam Club of the world? Is it, is it the, the local, every time you pull into a gas station that, you know, it, it's those local stores associated, um, connected to the gas stations? Are we talking bars? Where, where, where can we find it? So rhythm, restaurants, bars, uh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, I will tell you, has done uh, an incredible job with sharing our story. You walk into their stores and they put right up on a big poster, first African-American uh, female in the state of Connecticut making history. And by the way, she's a professional salsa dancer. There's posters all uh -huh. over. <laughs> so, uh, but in it's sort of like that with the Whole Foods and then, you know, the Costco's of the world are coming, but then the, the total wines that are all across the country were in the total wines. So those are some of the bigger, but then we've got the mom and pop shops. So we've got the bodegas, you know, that are out there that are, that, that love the fact that someone from their, their area is making it. They're like, literally they're, they're, you know, we're representing a state and we're representing a community. And that's why, you know, from a mom and pop to our favorite cigar bar that we go to and indulge in, you know, a couple of cigars, listen to some music and drink some rhythm, you know, everyone has the, the rhythm, which is, it's, it's great. The support has been endless. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's talk uh, distribution. You guys yes. are, are now all over Connecticut. Yes. Why are you not in other states? You know, you, we can get it here in New York. Is it is it just that difficult to get distribution for other states? What does the process look like for anybody who uh, has a local beer company or local anything? Mm -hmm. Why? It's, you know, how, how do you get out of your region? Exactly. Sean, if I showed you the number of emails, DMs, inboxes that I have received in the last two and a half years about requests to Rhythm in New York, Atlanta, LA, you would, it would, I would have to have a file cabinet. The demand is there. How you push a product, and like you said, wine, beer, Vodka, you, you, to get it out there, you need the lines of and channels of distribution to open. Yes, when the higher regency in Virginia calls and says, listen, our DNI, our, our diversity and inclusion corporate headquarters wants rhythm in Arlington, Virginia, you want to be able to produce. Correct. You want to be able to be able to follow up and say, you know what? I can have my distribution company in Virginia ship you that tomorrow so that I'm not losing out on an, op on an opportunity. We're, we're not there yet. And the, and again, the, the, the disconnect is we need the opportunities like everyone else in distro to get the product out into the masses. Let, 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 let's be specific. When you yes. see the, the opportunities like everyone else, what does that mean specifically? And again, I'm not in your industry. So right. when you say the opportunities, is it monetary? Is it you getting before uh, a natural a national distribution outlet to, to present yes. the case and to say, look, here is our case study. This is where we started. This is what we yes. did. You know, this is uh, our retention. People are buying yes. it. Like, what, what do you mean specifically? It is, we need two things. This is, this is double, this is a, a twofold. The finances. Yes, it is. It's, it's about having the money mm -hmm. to extend distribution, but it's about having those larger companies become aware that we're even out there, but how do you do it? You can do that through brand ambassadorship. We need the Ciroc's and the Diddy's and we need, we need what They've done in, you know, the Jay-Z's and the Rock Nation. We, we need specific, this is my, this is the ask. 
we need those channels and those li those lines of distribution, whether it comes from you know the big brand people that are pushing this out throughout the country. We need brand ambassadorship, and we need a, a distribution company who can facilitate that. So it, absolutely, we could be out in every total line, in every Whole Food, in every Trader Joe in in America if we had that opportunity. If the big, you know, the machine, they call them at the machine, if the machine was potentially, you know, be, behind us, you know, for movement, for movement. And I asked you this question because you mentioned the Hyatt Regency down in Virginia. Obviously, there's a demand. You saying, look, I would love to be able to get it to you, but I don't have a local distributor in that area. Yes. So, again, for you, because then you mentioned the Diddy's and, and the Jay Z's of the world, and I under, I understand marketing better than yeah, more. Right. where I excel. Uh, right. So for for you, number it's part brand ambassadorship. It's part uh, having that cosign, having somebody who is, yes. you know, who who would say you need to be drinking this. And then the other part is just that machine that can literally get your product off the assembly line into these local places outside of Connecticut. Absolutely. You hit it right on the head. That's it. it, it, it it's a cosign. It's the let's, you know, and again, we're, I'm going to keep moving until, you know, I, I'm on again on that mission. But if you've got that brand ambassadorship, we've seen what brands have done when they've had the power of brand brand ambassadorship behind it. I will tell you, what's the biggest pre Grammy party that goes on? What br what Rock brunch Nation. is it? The Rock Nation brunch? Yes. And Sean, I have a vision and a dream that I will be there. No, I put this in the universe, so I know I will be there to be in the middle of that brunch saluting with my beer brand. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.